Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good, good evening. evening hey, how are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you? Good evening. How is everybody doing today? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? Hi. Hi. Terrific. Hi. Are you ready for your English Maybe class? Yes. I feel happy. Yes, I'm I ready. can hear you. All right. For, for the uh, class, happy. For the uh, class. Awesome. Good, Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? Good. Did Good. you have a did you have Terrific. a Good. Bye. excellent? Terrific. Excellent. Nice, nice. All right, I hope everybody's feeling good. Today is Monday. I know that a lot of people on Monday, it's it's difficult because of traffic and a lot of work, but we made it. Who can tell me what information do you remember from the previous class? What information do you remember from the previous class? Compound now, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Emma, compound nouns. Emma, can you give me some examples of some compound nouns that you can remember? Okay. For example, um, uh, Gas station. Gas station. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Drug store. Drug store. Supermarket. Supermarket. Book store. Book store. Restroom. Restroom. Post office. Post office. Post. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Rene Antonio. Please tell me, what do you remember from the previous class? Hi, please, please repeat, please. Uh, what do you remember about the previous class? Um, los uh, compound nouns. Okay, okay, compound nouns. Can you give me some examples of how to use a compound noun? Give me a sentence. One sentence, using a compound noun. One sentence. No? Okay, okay, that's okay, that's okay. Can somebody help? Can somebody help René with one example using a compound noun in a sentence? Eduardo Najarro, help René Antonio. Give me one sentence with a compound noun. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Um, One sentence using a compound noun. Okay, more than perfect. That is perfect. I went to the gas station on the weekend is correct. Perfect. Perfect. 
Thank you, Morena. Okay, guys. Yes, we're going to look at the next activity, which is coming from section 3.5. 3.5. By the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán preposiciones de lugar para dar direcciones. Además, practicarán una conversación, la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario, un entorno de la vida real. Listen, please. Please take notes in your notebook. Tome apuntes en su libreta. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the image. At this moment, do you have any questions about this activity? Questions related to the vocabulary? Questions related to the pronunciation? Questions, questions related to this video at this moment? Mm, no, thank you. Okay, let's continue, okay. please. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. Uh, Bedwin, ¿cómo se pronuncia la última? Bedwin. Between. Perdón. Between. 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 Thank okay, you. let's continue. As you can see, the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. 
Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the US post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? All right. For this activity, you are going to answer these questions. Va a responder estas preguntas. Where is Gus's gas station? ¿A dónde está la gasolinera de, de Gus? Where is the hospital? ¿A dónde está el hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? ¿A dónde está el cartero de la Estados Unidos? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? ¿A dónde está la, la biblioteca o la librera de la Segunda Avenida? Where is Dam's Drugstore? ¿A dónde está la farmacia de Dam's? So va a usar este mapa para responder estas preguntas. Y lo va a escribir aquí en el discussion forum. Aquí, utilizando las preposiciones que vimos en el video. Si trabaja en pareja, puede escribir las mismas respuestas que escribió su pareja. Any questions? No. All right. Let's practice together and then we will check as a class. Practice together and then we will check as a class. Las preguntas. Hay que, que trabajar. Sí, Ajá. hay que trabajar la 4.6, creo que es la, no, la 3.7, ¿verdad? La 3.6, 3.6. 3.6 ahorita. Uh -huh. Sí, pero hay que responder, no sé si copió la pantalla, vamos a ver. Quiero ver, eh, estoy tratando de, de tener la... Ah, o en, el, o en la... Ya de una sola vez aquí en la... Sí, ¿verdad? 
pointer. Es de ir contestando, dijo la. Ajá, dice where, ¿dónde están la, 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 las preguntas últimas que aparecen ahí, verdad? Sí. Where, where are is gas, gas station? ¿Dónde está la, la gasolinera? Vamos a ver. The station. ¿Dónde no la que where, eh, quiero ver. Where, where is, ¿dónde ah, está? Pero es, es la 36, dice, ver, la 36, es en la 37, sí. quiero ver. Sí, 36, 36. Pero no veo la station, ¿dónde está? La gasolinera está... Pero el mapa, yo no la... No, o sea, no como en la esquina, está en la esquina, de, en la esquina izquierda, pero tendría que decir... Ah, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Ajá, ajá. Sí. Ajá, entonces tiene que estar... On the, on the corner, corner es como esquina, ¿verdad? La esquina, sí, la esquina. On the entonces corner. sería on the corner of... Y en la esquina de, de, first, de la primera avenida, no de sé. La, de, no, de la Center, Center State, creo que es. Ya bien. Esa sería. Ahí depende cómo lo. O sea, desde qué punto se, se vea. Pero la. Pues la, la ay, ya nos van a regresar. Y la. la qué rápido. O sea que nos van a dar indicaciones, pero muy rápido está. Ah, no. A ver. Entonces. The station is on First Avenue. The hospital. Y estaba viendo lo que puso el otro compañero. Máximo. Uh -huh. Pero puso que está en la primera avenida. Y de, y de hospital. Y is on Center Street. Pero, pero quizás como teníamos que ponerla con, la, con las preposiciones del lugar, entiendo yo. Uh -huh. Sí, pero sí. En la, en la esquina de la, de la primera avenida y del... Y del, la, y la center. Uh -huh. Correcto. Así tiene que ser. Gas station. Dice gas station eh, on the corner of... Mate, me alcanza un lápiz, por del estuche de Mateo. The de corner Fox. of First Avenue. El estuche allá de la mesita. First Avenue. Y en. en the cent Center. Center is. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque y center. Si estaba el, el ejemplo ahí que habían puesto la tienda de departamento está en la calle principal, está en la esquina de la principal y la primera. Es como el ejemplo que pusieron en la clase. Uh -huh. Ajá, pues así lo vamos a poner nosotros. Ok. Ahora la otra pregunta es... No sé si lo puso o lo, lo, lo respondió. Eh, where is the hospital? ¿Dónde está el hospital? Entonces el hospital está... Eh, ay, no lo veo. Creo no, no lo veo. Que, yo creo que es el que está enfrente de la, de, la, de la gasolinera, ¿no es ese? No, no puedo ver si es hospital. Lo que veo que hay un helicóptero arriba, pero no sé si... Sí, pero, bueno, pero, tiene hospital, pero ese tiene que ser porque el otro es teatro y el otro es drugstore y el otro, no sé qué, el de la esquina. Entonces tendría que ser ese el, Eso. el hospital. Entonces. Eh, ese está enfrente, ¿verdad? Enfrente de la gasolinera. Ajá. Uh -huh. from, from the station. Sería. Eh, The hospital. Cross from, cruzando, ¿verdad? Across from. Ajá, enfrente. Ajá. On. O, o ¿Cómo sería? On, ajá. On, across from. Sí, enfrente de. 
Like across from. On, across from gas station. In gas. Y la otra que es dónde está el de la el de la oficina postal. Sí, la oficina postal creo que es la que está en... No es la que está a la par del hospital. No, ¿verdad? Eh, pues, es que como es algo chica, no la logro visualizar. Yo digo, no lo puedo ver. No. Sí, pero, pero el otro de frente, banco, el otro es teatro, el otro es un parque, el otro es una de, de zapatos, el otro es una... Sí, ese tiene que ser el que está a la par del hospital. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Welcome back, guys. Uh, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Yeah. Teacher, eh, disculpe, en mi caso necesito más tiempo porque no sé qué sucedió con mi compañero. Eh, tuvimos problemas, creo que de conexión de parte sí. de él, eh, porque no le escuchaba ah, nada. Ah. No sé si él se salió ahorita o qué sucedió. Oh, ok, ok. Thank you, Damaris. Thank you. Ok, guys, eh, ¿ya terminaron o necesitan más tiempo? Nosotros necesitamos un poco más de tiempo. Sí, teacher. Sí, teacher. Un poquito de okay. tiempo. Ok, ok, ok. Ok, continuamos. Solo vamos a dejar que todos regresen. Necesitamos más tiempo. Más tiempo, más tiempo, more time. More time, please. Please, please. Yes. More time, please, teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Ready, let's go. Bueno, pero intentémoslo. Sí. ¿Quién puede Estábamos... compartir la pantalla para, para poder hacer eso? Este, nosotras la estábamos viendo, yo la estaba viendo, me la compartió Raquel al WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Del grupo, de ahí, ajá. Porque en mi caso estoy con celular y no me es posible, no sé cómo compartir. La, la primera decía, where is the gas station? Eh, sí, gas est y la respuesta era, eh, gas station is on First Avenue. Así habíamos puesto. No sé usted cómo tenía. Fíjense, gas station. No había podido iniciar con la otra compañera porque no, no tenía... Ajá. Ah, en la otra es Where is the hospital? Y habíamos puesto The hospital is next to post office. Me parece que esa es la que está eh, al, al, ajá, next to the hospital. Sería. Y luego pregunta por US post office. Entonces, Where is the US post office? Y a mí lo único que se me ocurre es que también está a la par del hospital, ¿verdad? Next to, pero no sé si hay que poner otra, como que está enfrente de ese edificio. Sí. Que no sé qué es. It's in front of ¿Cómo? the Second Ajá. Avenue Bookstore. Ah. It's in front. Ajá. The Second Avenue Bookstore. Ah, the Second, second uh, Avenue Bookstore. A uh, bookstore, bookstore. Uh -huh. Se puede escribir de varias formas porque también se Ajá. puede poner 
it's on center street or um, it's, it's across from Mary's Mier, restaurant, pero mm, así se puede poner, it's uh -huh. in front of a Second Avenue bookstore. It's on center uh -huh. street, dentro de la calle esa del centro. Uh -huh. Pero um, yo creo que solo con una es suficiente. Podemos ponerla en front sí. of. Sería, ajá, the U.S. post office is in the second of, uh, uh, in front of, of in front the of, second, uh, the second, the second, ajá, uh -huh. avenue bookstore, ah, uh, avenue Bookstore, ah, está bien. Está enfrente de la segunda avenida de la tienda de libro, algo así. Eh, es eh, el nombre de la tienda, eh, el nombre de la librería es la segunda avenida. Mm. Entonces no es calle, no, sino que es la segunda avenida, así se llama la librería. Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Así se llama. Uy, tú ves ah. esa letra chiquita, no la veo Ajá, sí, no sí. se mira. Sí, con Aven, arriba está el cartel, no sé, con uh -huh. dos, Es cierto, uh -huh. y abajo todavía la pone de ejemplo. Dice, ¿Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Es decir, ahora dónde uh -huh. está, ¿verdad? Sí. Y ahí. Di. Um, Second Across avenue. of, cruzando, cruzando, ahora podemos poner de, de, de Second Avenue Bookstore is across of, es cruzando Danny's Drugstore, la tienda de Danny's. Está ah. cruzando la tienda de Danny. Uh -huh. Danny's, Danny. No, sería de, Ajá. sería así, mire. Ajá. The Second Avenue Bookstore is Ajá, is acro Is across Across Of Of Tu, Dani Dams o Dams No sé Ajá. Tú, Dams, creo que es Dams, Dams Ajá. o Danis No sé Ajá. Drugstore Bookstore, ¿también es books? O, o escucho mal. Ah, no, es drugstore. Ah, tienda del drugstore. Como de drogas. Mm, ah, drugs. O, o no sé. drugstore. Tienda de... No, es drugstore. De abarrotes creo que es. Abarrotes. Ah, de abarrotes. Ah, abarrotes. Drugstore. Ah, Drugstore, vamos a ver. Drug, oh, de medicamentos. Drugstore, farmacia. Ah, drugstore. Es, es farmacia. Ajá. Farmacia. Da, dance, drugstore, mm -hmm. es cierto. Drugstore, es cierto, es farmacia. Drugstore. Ah, this... Y se pronuncia drugstore. 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 ¿Cómo se dice? En fe, eh, era cruzando. ¿Cómo se dice cruzando? Is. Across of. Across. Is across of. Ah, uh, across of. Ah, uh, ok. Of. Across of. Ajá. A cruz of. Gracias. Cruzando. Cruz. Y la última sería precisamente dónde está la farmacia, ¿verdad? Where is. Ajá. Eh, den, den dance. Or den, dance. Drugstore. Ajá. Dance, creo que es. Drugstore. Dance, es cierto. Is... Dance. Is 
le podemos poner between uh, supermarket between is between supermarket mm, es el que no porque este sería between supermarket mm, no no porque no 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 está ningún en All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Emma. The third question. Let me hear your examples. Where is gas, gas station? Uh, the answer, gas, gas station is on the corner of first Avenue and Center Street. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Emma. Okay. Excellent. Arnoldo Castellón, number two. Okay. Yeah. Where is the hospital? The hospital across from gas station. Perfect. Perfect. Arnoldo. And let me have another volunteer. You, Excellent, good job. Let me have another one, Ricardo. Number three. Number three. Where is the U.S. Post Office? The U.S. Post Office is on the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Perfect. Perfect. Good job, Ricardo. Let me Thanks. have Myra, number four. Okay, teacher. The bookstore, the bookstore is Center State and Second Avenue across from Dance Drugstore. Drug store. Good job. Good job. All right, Marvin, the next one. Marvin. Uh, where is Dance Drugstore? Uh, it's next to the supermarket. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Let's continue, guys. If you are not finished, that's going to be your homework. We're going to look at 3.7. Look at the map and listen to the audio program to answer the questions. You're going to click here. 89. Exercise six, listening. Where is it? Where Look is at it? The map in exercise five. Look at the map. Listen to four conversations. This is the map. Where are the people going? One. Gas gas station. Hmm. The doctor's hospital. Is U.S. It near Post the Office. Movie theater? Second yes, Avenue it Bookstore. It's right across from Davis Drugstore. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. PNJ Supermarket, Favorite right. Shoes, it's between Regency the Theater, and Love's Department Store. City Bank, Love's Department Two. Store. Is it near Maria's Restaurant? Yes, it is. So you're going to Second identify Avenue, yes, where is the specific yes. place. It's on Second Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Three. Sorry. Any questions? Where is it? <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's Ooh. near the movie theater. Even my eyes so watered. <laughs> no, it's on Main Street. That was a good Next one. All right. So you're going to listen and you are going to identify where are they going. You will do four exercises. You will have five minutes and then we will check as a class. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. At yes, this teacher. moment, at this moment, do you have a question regarding pronunciation or vocabulary or something of that nature? Okay, let's do it.
Hello, Ricardo. Hello, no hello. Sé. Eh, bueno, hay que escuchar el, el... para identificarlo, ¿verdad? Hay que escuchar, sí. Ajá, si no quieres, sé si les, les comparto y... Ajá, ¿cómo? Sí. Y voy ¿Cómo a escucharlo. Ah, ok, ahorita. ¿Cómo se hace, por cierto? <ríe> ah, ok. Vamos. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Este, en la parte de, de abajo de Zoom están las opciones cuando tienes tu pantalla maximizada, las ves todas, está el micrófono, la cámara, los participantes, el chat, y ahí está compartir pantalla. Ajá, share. Exacto. Share stream. Entonces, entonces, Pero ¿y para, para compartir la, el, el audio? Ah, ok. Entonces, la pantalla que tú seleccionas para compartir en, ese, en esa ventana, en la parte de abajo, te aparecen dos cheques, compartir sonido y optimizar para clip de video. Share Zoom y Optimize. Ah, ok. Tienes que checar, ajá, Share Zoom. Y entonces le das compartir. Y entonces, ah, excelente. Ahí, ahí hace. Page okay. 89. Escucha, Exercise 6. Sí, sí, sí. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in Exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Ok, ahí escucharon que dice que está between, ¿verdad? Between, está... sí, restaurant. Exacto, y love department um, store. Entonces sí. es the bank. Ah, que está, sí. ajá. Ajá. Ajá, es que está en medio de los dos, ¿verdad? Exactamente, sí. muy bien. Ajá, ok, bueno. Ok, continue. Not? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue, between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. In Luff's department store. Lo vamos a repetir. Right. Sí. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. It is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So, it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Okay, thanks. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Can you hear it's me? Finished. You fear you finished. Thank you, Raquel, for responding. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Let's check. Raquel, number one. Where are they going? Ra 
Raquel Santos, number one. Uh, the bank, teacher, the bank. The bank, thank you. Number two, Alexis Balmore. All right, number two, Mayra. Perdón, teacher. Oh, okay. David's Drugstore. David's Drugstore. Number three, Mayra. Maria's Restaurant. Maria's Restaurant. Number four, Glenda. Ahorita, teacher, in the Marian restaurant. Yes, where Maria's restaurant number four. Yes. And number three. Okay. All right, let's check. No. Oh, no. It's not Maria's restaurant. Number four. Somebody, can somebody give me number four, please? Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes or Lee shoes. Or oh, Payless shoes. Or oh, MD shoes. <laughs> okay. Any questions related to the audio? Do you have any questions related to the audio? Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. No, costó identificar la primera. Ok. En el audio. Es que casi no se le se logra como entender porque muy rápido. Ah, we gotta slow it down. Uh -huh. Ok. Vamos a ver lo que dice. Play, 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 porque no play. Tiene, tiene, ajá, tiene que abrirlo como emergente, teacher. Oh, pop up. Pop up. Page 89. Page 89. Exercise 6. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in, Look exercise, at the map five. in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Listen to core conversation. Where are the people going? Where are the people going? One. One. Hmm. hmm. I think it's on Main Street. I think it's on is Main it Street. Regency movie theater? Main Street. Yes, it is. It's right across. Regency from the movie, theater. movie theater. Yeah, yeah. Ah, There's across. A there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Uh, between the restaurant is it near Maria's and love yes, it is it's on second avenue next love's to the department so e it's Jay's the bank supermarket? yes it's on second avenue between main and center okay thank you very much and it was the bank yeah okay yeah regency all right Another question. Another question. Not teacher. Not no. teacher. No. All right. Okay. Let's move forward. 3.8. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask for and give directions. Huh? Hello? No, no, no. Can you hear me? No, 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 no. 
Okay. Time. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán cómo pedir y dar direcciones. Además, practicará una conversación, la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Directions. Is it far from here? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Listen, please. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize. All right, let's look at this vocabulary. Repeat after me. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Eso lo puede decir, por ejemplo, si usted dice, camina dos cuadras para arriba. Walk up two blocks. Repeat. Mm -hmm. walk, walk, down. Up. Walk, walk down. Walk down. Walk down. Walk down. Walk down. Right. Walk, walk down. Walk down. Es como cuando usted dice walk. camine uh -huh. dos cuadras hacia abajo. Uh, repeat. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Ahí right. es como que usted dice baje dos cuadras. Go down two blocks. Okay. All right, the next one. Turn left on. Turn left on. Turn left on. Right. Por ejemplo, usted dice, eh, doble a la izquierda sobre la Juan Pablo. Turn left. Oh, Juan Pablo. That's right. All right, the next one. Turn right on. Es como que usted dice doble a la derecha sobre la Juan Pablo. Turn right on Juan Pablo. Turn right on. Turn right on. Okay. Uh, when you say on the right, 
on the right, right? La casa va a estar a tu derecha. The house is going to be on the right. And then on the left, la casa estará a la izquierda, a tu izquierda. The house is going to be on the left. All right, let's continue. Summarize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Okay, you have to memorize this vocabulary. Memorize this vocabulary. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions. Walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral. And we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down Fifth Avenue. Or, go down Fifth Avenue. So, what is the next step to get to... New York Public Library. For that, we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So, to answer that question, we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So, what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So, in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. All right, now for this activity, what you are going to do is you can describe places in El Salvador. You can say, for example, Metro Centro is on the right of Boulevard Los Héroes. Uh, you can say teleperformance is on the left of La Olimpica Street. You are going to write at least five examples, five examples about places, locations, Multiplaza, La Gran Vía, Plaza Mundo, Pollo Campero, Super Selectos, Despensa de Don Juan, the pharmacy, the movie theater, the zoo, whatever you select. You're going to give me five examples and you are going to write them here in the discussion forum. Any questions?
Teacher, I have a question. What is the difference in wall done and code done? What's the difference between hold on and go down? Oh, walk down. Walk down and go down. Uh, hi. It's the same. Okay. Es, es lo mismo. Usted puede okay. decir, eh, baje dos cuadras. You can say, go down two blocks. Or you can say, baje dos cuadras. Walk down two blocks. Okay, thank you. It's the same thing. The difference is the verb. Walk, camine abajo dos cuadras. Or go, vaya abajo dos cuadras. It's the same thing. Good question. Good question. Thank you for your question. Another question, guys, referring to this vocabulary? Okay. So in this activity, you're going to write at least five sentences describing places in El Salvador. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Yes. A ver. Eh, alguno bueno. que sea fácil. Uh -huh. uh, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, uh, um, bueno, Metrocentro. Metrocentro. Ok, sería is on the right. Metrocentro. Ok. Metrocentro. Metro centro is on the right, right, right of Boulevard Los Héroes. A la derecha de Boulevard Los Héroes. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ok. Ok. Eh, la otra sería uh, Galerías. Okay. Galerías. Um, dijo que para decir walk up, walk up, caminar, two blocks. Yeah. Ajá. Eh, para decir como que camine unas dos, una, dos o tres cuadras down, del salvador del mundo. Pero sería ahí down. ¿Qué? Dijo. No, sería walk, walk down. Walk, walk up, walk up. Ah, hacia arriba. Mm -hmm. Walk up, uh -huh. walk up, two blocks. Sí. Of two. El sabor del mundo. Ajá, correcto. O más o menos cuántas cuadras estará de, 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 del sabor del mundo, galería. Sí, son como dos cuadras. Sí. Sí, ¿ah? ¿eh? Sí. sí. Ah, pues entonces sería galerías. Walk up two blocks of El, Sab of El Salvador del Mundo. Sí, correcto. Okay, otro lugar. 
Um, la, ah, la, um, ajá. la fuente Beethoven. Ok. Y lo mismo sería prácticamente las fuentes Beethoven, no sé cómo se escribe, Walk Up, ah, go, go Up, para cambiarlo, Go Up, up One ajá. Block, One Block, from Galerías. Pero la fuente Beethoven está a una cuadra. Más o menos, o a cuánto está más o menos de, de Galerías, creo que está como a dos. Pero hacia abajo. La, la, Ahí está diciendo hacia abajo. Que está... No. Eh, go up. Go up. Uh -huh. Es lo mismo, solo que. Ajá. Ah, solo que. Ajá, ajá. Eh, ajá. Solo que la diferencia que dijo él. Porque uh -huh. las fuentes de son las que están, las dos fuentes que están arriba ¿va? de galería, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, sí, va. Pues sí, una ah, cuadra. Va. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre eso? Go up con what? Dijo que era lo mismo, que no había mayor diferencia. Ok. Uh -huh. Otro lugar, vamos a ver. Go up. Galería. Uh, ¿Qué otro? La, 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 ¿Cómo se llama esta? Uh -huh. El redondel, el que está al final de la Jerusalén. Ah, pero un punto de referencia ahí. Ajá, sí, está bien, está bien complicado. Hola. Está bien complicado para dar un punto de referencia, ¿verdad? Eh, casa no, presidencial el, no está cerca ahí. El, no, el otro que he pensado yo, el otro, no, porque es que no, yo honestamente no me ubico donde es, así exactamente, no, no me ubico para decirle, ah, yo sé dónde. <risa> ok, bueno, entonces ah. otro. Good night. Good night, right, guys. Time is up. This is going to be your homework if you are not finished. And we will continue tomorrow. Good night, guys. Enjoy Good your night. evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Well, thank, thank you so much, Morena. Night. Thank you for your participation. You See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Good evening. Good Enjoy evening, your... teacher. Good evening. Good night, Bye, guys. Teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Enjoy your evening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay.